Oh, are you okay, little kitty? Yes. Oh no, I think the injury on your head is causing you to stutter. Yes, Kitty. Stuttering or stammering is an interruption in the flow of speech that many kids go through while growing up. Hey, friends, I'm sure a lot of us must have faced this speech disorder. So, in today's episode, let us look at the science behind it and answer a crucial question: What causes stuttering? Zoom in. So, what is stuttering? It is a type of disfluency in the flow of speech that can make the person repeat certain syllables, words, phrases, or even drag out part of a word. Children and even adults who stammer know what they have to say, but the words just don't come out easily. But the vital question is. What causes this stuttering amongst us? Well, so far, researchers aren't entirely sure why some people stutter, but most believe that certain factors contribute to it, such as a problem with the way the brain's message interacts with the muscles and body parts needed for speaking. You see, humans. Have a remarkable ability to share their thoughts through speech and language, and to make this talking process smooth, two parts of the brain called Wernicke's area and Broca's area play a crucial role in it. Yes, the Wernicke's area is said to be located in the temporal lobe on the left side of the brain region. Although the exact location of this region is still debatable, but what we surely know is that this area is essential for language development and helps us choose the right words while expressing our views. And once thought is coded into language, the Broca's area in the frontal lobe of the dominant hemisphere of the brain. Gets activated. This region then sends the message to the muscles that control speech, telling them to move and make the right sounds come out. Then the mouth, face, neck, tongue, and throat muscles move to form words, and that's how we can smoothly communicate. But in some cases. This process doesn't work perfectly. If a brain stroke or injury either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow in this part of the brain, due to this, the brain finds it hard to send a signal to the speech muscles, which causes a person to stammer while speaking. The first signs of stuttering tend to appear when a child is about. 18 to 24 months old, as the brain is still developing, and in many cases it goes away on its own by the age of five. But if someone continues to stutter after the age of five, it is recommended to talk to your doctor or a speech language therapist. Also, remember, my friends. If someone you know stutters, it does not mean that they are less bright by any means. In fact, they are intelligent as anyone who speaks fluently. And you won't believe many individuals who have the speech disorder went on to achieve great heights in life. Some of them are the legendary singer Elvis Presley. Legendary actor Rowan Atkinson, and the legendary naturalist who gave us the theory of evolution, none other than Charles Darwin. Trivia time! Did you know stuttering is more common in boys than girls? 
singing is an effective method to generating more fluent speech in individuals who stutter. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ow! Never mind.